Hey everyone, uh, thanks for tuning in for, to another video. Uh, today's video is going to be about the brake pads on my 2017 Dodge Charger Scat Pack with the Dynamics package. So, if you're not familiar with the dy Dynamics package, it adds the uh, Hellcat wheels, tires, and brake system. And Hellcat owners, uh, SRT 392 owners and Daytona and uh, 392 Daytonas will all have the same brake system where they have the uh, four piston Brembos in the rear and the six piston in the front. And the issue is with the brake pads in the front that they just completely go crazy with the amount of dust they generate. So today I'm going to fix that. And I'm going to fix that by using a uh, different brand of brake pads. These are going to be PowerStop Z26 pads, which I'll show in a minute. But uh, I'm only going to be replacing the, the, the front. The rear is not really a problem. But let me just give you a, an idea of what is uh, going on here. So the car was washed less than a week ago six days ago and only daily driven don't haven't done anything crazy or harsh but I mean, look at that that's crazy and I mean really that looks it looks like that after just a, a day or two so I literally could be cleaning my wheels every day at least the fronts. So I'm gonna replace in the pads, which will hopefully take care of that problem. Just to give you an idea what the rears are like, they're not nearly as bad. There are some there is some dust here. Well actually it does that does look pretty significant as well. But anyway, in today's video we're only gonna be replacing the fronts. <laughs> so alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and show you uh, everything you need to be what you need to do to get the job done right. Okay, so here we are. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is just rinse off the uh, wheels and brakes real quick just to show you how much comes off just with a little bit of water. See the... That's just black. So. Pretty uh, shocking the first time I did that. I've actually had a big dark spot on my driveway where I routinely wash my car just from all the brake dust settling there. So, all right, now that I've got the uh, both wheels uh, hosed off, I'm gonna pull the car in the garage and get it up on jack stands. Okay, now that the car is uh, jacked up, secured on jack stands, and also uh, I get the floor jack still um, giving it pressure as well to keep it, uh, to keep me safe. So, uh, don't do this without a, without jack stands. I mean, you're not, you shouldn't be under the car too much, but just in case they, you know, they fail, so they can, you do not want to be in that position. So, uh, the first thing, obviously, you know, if this is news to you, stop what you're, what you're doing right now and go have a professional do this, but you're going to need to take off the wheels. So I've got a 22 millimeter socket here with a uh, like a nylon wrapping around it to keep my wheels safe. So I'm going to go ahead and take the lug nuts off in a star pattern with my uh, DeWalt impact wrench. If you don't have an impact wrench, which uh, up until a few months ago I did not have one, uh, you're missing out. These things are awesome. 
save you a lot of time and hassle. So. I decided to glove my hands real quick just because this could be pretty dirty. So the wheel can come off now. And roll it away. So what's great about the brakes on this car is how easy they should be to service. Because you don't have to take the caliper off to actually remove the pads. So let me See if I can get in on that. Okay, so we should be able to remove the pads from above the caliper, outside the caliper. So um, there are two pins here and there, and then there's a bolt here they have to take out, and that should be all. So if you have a punch, that's going to come in handy here. I have no idea where my punches are at. I have uh, torn down the garage and I don't know where they went. So I'm just going to use the the flat end of a of a uh, drill bit and a mallet and try not to screw up my caliper. I may need something with a little more weight behind. Should have a little more force than the rubber, just the rubber mallet. So. Gotta be honest with you, this is very frightening. <laughs> it is moving, so that's good. more taps. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start knocking out the bottom one, see if we, see if maybe that'll uh, help. And that is coming right out. Okay, yay. Okay, I knew we could do it. All right, so the pins are out and now I need a 13 millimeter. To remove this bolt right here. Okay, so now I'm going to try to uh, make sure the pads are uh, separated as they can be, or pushed back in as much as they can be by hand. And to the pist uh, push the pistons back so I can fit the new pads in.
quickly wiggle these out. And got them. Okay, so there it is. This Brembo. It's got a uh, arrow and uh, there's plenty of pad life left. What I'm going to end up doing is using these pads on like track days. I don't mean the drag strip. I mean more like a autocross or road road uh, course type of a situation, which might be hilarious in itself because the car's huge and is really not going to flourish in that condition. But um, I'll probably give it a shot anyway. I think it'll be fun. Okay, so. Before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and give it a quick little spray down with some brake cleaner. Look at the pads that came in the box. Well, first of all, let me just show you everything that's in the box. So, here is the box. These are the Power Stop Extreme Z26 pads and Z26 1405 is the part number. Alright, so first thing you see when you open the box is you've got new pins, you've got new, well, I don't call those uh, brake pad brackets, retainers, call it whatever you want to call it. And then there's two more, so there's four pins in this bag and two retainers. And then there's two more on this side, so what's up with that? I'm not sure why there are so many, because these are just for the front brakes, so you just need two of these, you think. I'll take a look at them. And then, of course, you get your four brake pads, so... Let's, uh, and then there's also a little baggie of brake lubricant. So these are carbon fiber ceramic pads. Here's the backs of them, the Power Stop Extreme. Okay, let me try to figure out. I'm sure that orientation matters. So. Let's see what we got. Oops. It might not matter. Because, let's see. Unless I'm seeing things, or not seeing things, they all look, they look exactly the same. Which I guess makes sense, because these have arrows pointing in different directions. But other than that, they look the same as well. This has that, oh, that's over here too. Hmm. Well... I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put them in then. It doesn't really, I don't really see any difference. Comment if, if I make a mistake. 
if anyone's ever done this before. So, difference in the pads, there's like two slots, vertical slots on the Brembo pad, and just kind of one in the middle on the power stop. Um, looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just put a little bit of uh, this brake lubricant on this pad, and I'm just going to kind of mimic where the uh, pistons are at. Apparently this, whatever I did there didn't open it good enough. Ah, screw it. Okay, I have brake caliper lube already at my house, so I'm just not even gonna mess around with, uh, with that. So, got the, uh, put that on two, or one of them. Just put some on this one over here. Over here. Okay. And let's see if these will slide in. Might not be the best. All right. Hey, that worked, right? I'm sure there's someone cringing that I just did that. I kind of am myself, to be honest. All right, I'm just gonna clean this bolt down real quick. Does this need to be cleaned? Probably not. Brake parts are dirty, so what's gonna happen? It's just gonna get dirty again, right? The next thing, let's put that bracket back on, but uh, let's remember that the kit came with some, so let me see what we got. Now, these brake pads aren't specific to this car, they're specific to these brakes, which uh, is found on more than just this car. So, I found one. It's included in the kit, and it looks exactly the same. So... But, uh, I'll just go ahead and put this one on. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, reassemble. Try to go just in reverse order. I'm gonna start from the bottom, put that pin in through this spring, push in a little bit. Now it's just hanging there. Let me see if I can drive it in with this uh, rubber mallet or if I'm gonna need to go something. A little more heavy duty. Yeah, it looked like that went right in. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this. Uh, Big piece right here. 
and uh, thinking about putting a little bit of Loctite on this. I'm not 100% sure what the torque spec does. So, let me just put a little, oh, just a little drop. Okay. Got just the smallest amount that I could get on there. Not even sure if that's gonna really do anything. Go ahead and get this put in. Okay. And now I'm going to bring the bracket up. This, whatever you're going to call it, spring deal. So you do have the flexor right here. Okay, we got it started. Okay, so with all this pressure, here and this is not super easy. So be forewarned. Need some strong fingers. Okay. Turn the driving in just a little bit more. if I can get myself in here for some better leverage. Back to the back here. Not a lot of power I can generate from this angle. Be very careful, maybe. There we go. Okay. Let me make sure everything appears to be lined up. And that's that. That is the complete replacement of the uh, brake pads. Let me go ahead and clean up the wheels. Okay, and like magic, I've got a mostly clean and kind of dry wheel. to get these started by hand just so you don't cross through anything. Okay. 
I'm really looking forward to uh, seeing some hopefully clean wheels after more than just a few days of driving. I did do a uh, few 0 to 60 stops yesterday just to see what I was getting, what kind of a stopping distance that the car could, was recording with uh, the factory Brembo pads and my best is 0 to 60. I only tried it twice, but my best one was 135 feet. So hopefully this will get me somewhere close to that. I don't expect it to be as good. Uh, I also, I don't expect it to be too terrible either, but um, I think for everyday driving that I really won't notice a difference. All right, I'm gonna use my impact to get this to get these started. Uh, I have it on the lowest setting, and then I'll come. I'll follow up with it with a follow up with a torque wrench. Okay, the last step in this install is just to torque down the lug nuts to 110 foot-pounds in a star pattern. Okay, so we're done. Power Stops website gives you braking instructions and they go as, uh, what they say you're supposed to do is from 40 miles an hour, brake rapidly from 40 to 10 miles an hour without coming to a complete stop five times in a row. And then go from 35 down to five miles an hour five times in a row without coming to a stop. They say if you have to come to a stop, put the car in neutral or just something where the brake pads aren't being uh, pressed onto the rotor. And then drive it around after that normally for at least five minutes without trying to use the brakes all that often. And then after that, it says you can drive normally. So that is, uh, that's the install. Not too bad. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you in the next video.